Hi guys, in today's tutorial I want to show you how you can use the fill command to make your life easier if you want to test something in creative. The fill command basically helps you to fill large areas or replace certain items and if you know the command already I'm pretty sure that I will have some information for you that you won't know yet. So let's get started. If we just type in slash fill, we can take a look at the syntax of the command and what we can see first is that we need uh, two sets of coordinates that we need to give the command and uh, then there's a bunch of other stuff that I might come later to but this first line is the most important one for us right now. The easiest way in my opinion of filling an area is actually to just mark where you want to fill stuff so I will fill uh, the area in between those two blocks here and then you just face at the block and you type in slash fill, then a space and then you press the tab key on your keyboard three times. So always with a space in between, so that was the first time, tab, space, tab. And that will automatically fill in the coordinates of the block that you're looking at. Then you can press enter and it will give you the error message. But that's alright because we need to go to the second corner then you press T to open the chat again, the arrow up to get your last message. There we've got uh, the fill command that just produced the error. Now we do again space, tab, space, tab, space, tab. And then we've got our set of coordinates. So the first three is the first corner and the second three is the second corner over here. And now we can decide which block we want to fill. And uh, since we've got uh, the auto completion, we can just type in uh, let's say we want to do stone, so we just do stone and, oh, there's a lot of stone stuff, so I would just do it like this, stone. And if we hit enter then, you can see that this area is already filled with stone. This of course also works in a uh, vertical way, so for example like this, if I do the same thing again, fill, tap, 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 enter, then go to the second corner and do uh, arrow up, space, tap, 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 and then for example, let's say we want to make it glass. Then we've got a glass area right here. And of course, you can also make the area bigger, but be careful if you fill something in an area where you have got uh, something already built, for example, now here the wool, and I do slash fill from here to uh, the corner up here and I say I want to fill it with air, everything in this area is gone again. So I think it's now best if you pause the video and try it out yourself if you're not familiar with this stuff already. The second possibility of defining coordinates for your fill command are relative coordinates. And those are a little bit more tricky to understand because you need to uh, imagine where your player is. So for me, I'm standing on the block and my center is where my legs are. Um, so if I just use the fill command again, relative coordinates can be put in by using the tilde on your keyboard. And uh, for example, if I just do six times the tilde and then say I want to have a glass block, then it would fill one glass block right where my legs are, so right here. If I want to say I want to fill just blocks in this direction, let's say 10 blocks, then uh, I need to take a look uh, which direction this is. That can be done in the F3 sc screen. So we are looking at the red axis, that is the X axis, because RGB is X, Y, Z. So um, positive X axis, 10 blocks. That would mean that we need to fill from my position where I am right now, then 10 blocks we want to fill, so nine blocks further in the X direction. Same in the Y, same in the Z and say glass again and then we are filling in um, 10 blocks in the x direction. That of course also works downwards or backwards. Um, for example if I want to have a um, platform underneath my feet uh, with let's say five blocks in each direction we can do fill uh, minus five minus one because underneath my feet minus 5, then to 5, minus 1, because we need to keep it at the same level, and 5, so uh, one corner, oh, I of course need to put the block, otherwise it won't work, glass, um, the negative corner, minus 5, 
minus 5 over there and 1 down below. Uh, 2, 5, 5 and 1 down below gives me this platform here right underneath my feet. So this is something you need to play around with for a bit longer because it's a little bit uh, more difficult to figure out where to put stuff. And uh, once you uh, got how to use that command with the relative coordinates as well, you can also mix those. So you can, for example, say, I want to have um, fixed coordinates for the x and z coordinate, but I want to have it always at the same height as I am at. Then you can just use the tilde for the y coordinate and fixed coordinates for the other two. So far we have been only looking at this first line of the command, but the fill command can do much more due to more information that you can give it. But before you take a look at that, I recommend that you get used to the basic filling mechanisms. So what can we do with the fill command? Um, there is something here that says data value, old block handling and data tag. The data value is uh, the value that some blocks have. For example, wool comes with different data values. There's uh, the data value zero, which is white wool, then data value one is orange wool, uh, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. If you just add those, you will get the other wool blocks with the same um, block ID, but a different data value. Same goes, for example, for stone. We've got the stone zero, stone one, stone 2, stone 3 and so on. Uh, so that's how you get those blocks. Um, but what I want to show you is um, not the data value but the old block handling because this is really the fill command mechanics. And if we just fill in a command, this is the area with quartz blocks data value of 0. And if I now press tab, it will give me replace, destroy, keep, hollow, outline. Replace is um, the default value but it can get additional information and I think that this is the most important um, addition to the fill command because I can for example say I want to only replace the stone in my build here so I would type in the command with the area and then do replace stone and then you can see that only the stone in the area gets changed. If I for example change this around to uh, the green wool, then I could also use the data value to only um, change a certain item of a certain data value. For example, I want to change the green wool, which is the 5, to white wool. Then I could just select the area again and I can say I want to fill in wool uh, 0 and I want to replace wool 5 and it will fill just this single piece of wool with the different color. And uh, this is basically what you can do with the replace command. You mark an area, you tell it what block you want to fill and what block you want to replace. But you need to be super careful that you get it right. I often did a mistake already where I typed too fast and then had this instead. And if you don't spell it right, it will just screw up your command and fill the uh, array as if there was nothing in the end of the command. If you add the destroy tag, it will destroy anything inside as if it was mined with a tool. With keep, you can tell the game to keep anything but air blocks. Hollow will give you a cube which is filled with air in the inside. And outline will just fill the outline of an area and keep whatever is inside. I hope that you enjoyed this basic explanation of the fill command. If you did then feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share this video with your friends. And I hope then to see you in the next video. Until then, have a great day.